KRW Crew, Matt Vassallo here with RhinestoneWorld.com. So in this tutorial video, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to use these two fonts right here. So up top we have our TRW Baseball Laces HTV True Type font. And then right down here we have our TRW Football Laces HTV True Type font. So very easy to use and I'm going to show you how they work. This is a cutout of our baseball one on the white glitter. And then we're going to use the electric red easy weed for the other layer for that. And then on the football one, of course, we're going to use our brown leather football heat transfer vinyl. And we're going to use the white glitter with that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the heat press over here, show you exactly how to layer and press this design. All right, so we're over here at our heat press here. We got our 16 by 20 hot tronics auto clam. Of course, we got the blinged out version here. We're going to be at around 320 degrees for about 10 to 12 seconds. And I'm going to press it to one of our TRW sample sheets here. So this is for our sample booklet that we have at the shows, different events that we do. Now, depending on what you're pressing, it's going to vary on what you're going to press first. So for example, we have the white glitter with our baseball here, and then we have the red electric. Well, I want the outline to stand out the most. So I'm going to actually press my white glitter first here. So let's just make sure we're all lined up here. Let's get this turned over and we're going to go right here for a white glitter. That's looking pretty awesome right there. Let's go down here. Now this initial press, we're only going to hit this for about three to four seconds just to get that initial tack. And I'm going to be at about a medium pressure. So I'm actually going to increase my pressure a little bit here, but just be careful when you're pulling it up on that initial press because you just want to get that an initial tack to the actual garment and make sure that none of it pulls up. So you saw a little of it pull up there on the edge. No worries. I'm just pulling from a different angle now just to make sure because we're going to get the full time and temperature on this next one. So since we have the trapping method built into this font, you can see when I come back with our red leather, this is going to look just pretty, pretty freaking awesome here. So we got a red leather on top there. That's all layered up good. So you're not going to see any of your garment showing through. And now I'm going to go for our full recommended time of about 10 to 12 seconds. We have it set on 10 seconds here. All right, once that's done, now, of course, you could see I put my protective cover sheet over for the reason that this white glitter was actually exposed there. So when I pull this off here, we are all good and this design is ready to go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over and we're going to do the football on the back side of it. So for the football design, we're going to do this one a little bit different because we, again, we want the outside white to be nice and bold. So we're going to press the football leather first. So the easiest way to do that to make sure you align it correctly is to layer them perfectly on top of each other like you would if it were finished and then layer it right here. So you're going to line it all up. So we're going to get this lined up perfectly right here. Once it's lined up perfectly, of course, don't press it right then. I'm just going to pull the white glitter part off. So I know that my brown is aligned right where I need it to go. And I'm going to move this over. I just don't want my grommets on my page right here on my sample sheet to actually hit that heat press. So now with the brown leather, you do have to go a little bit longer because it is a cool peel and I am pressing it first. So I'm going to go for the full recommended time of this. And then you do, do need to let this cool down a little bit here. So I'm going to come over and just press it onto the table. All right, so we got the brown letter. We let that cool down a little bit. So let's go ahead and peel this off. Now, if you do peel that right away, it will start to peel away. So just make sure to let it cool down and then you'll be all good with that. So we got that part done. Now, of course, we're going to layer our glitter on top again. This font has the trapping method built into it, so you don't have to worry about any of that. It's going to have that slight little overlap so your shirt won't be showing through, your garment, whatever you're pressing to. And it's just going to look like it's actually layered on top of each other, even though technically it is not. So I would say we are looking pretty nice right there. Let's go ahead and press. 
Now, because I had the, the actual backing was covering the, all of the brown leather there, I didn't have to use my protective cover sheet. We do recommend using it either way. I just didn't there on that one because you can see it was covering. There was no heat transfer vinyl exposed directly to the heat press. So now the brown leather is a cool, cool peel, but even though I have that trapped in, I can actually go ahead because the glitter you can peel warm. I can go ahead and peel this off now. So we are good to go. And we are all done with this. You can see how awesome this looks up close. We have our brown leather here, our white glitter there. And this is something I created. You can create this in probably 30 seconds in the TRW Stone Wizard Rhinestone software for Corel Draw and having this football heat transfer vinyl true type font that we've created. And then the baseball one here you can see. Again, glitter white with the red electric heat transfer vinyl. Awesome looking with the trapping method, but something's going to look great for your customers. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like what we created here for you. Again, both of these fonts are available on our website at therhinestoneworld.com. Show you again real quick how awesome this football looks here. You got the entire alphabet as well. So we could have even done the name in this football look, or you can do a custom team name for the front. Awesome for the back here. And then the baseball here, show you again with the red electric heat transfer vinyl and then the white glitter. Now, all of the products that we used in this training here today, we have available right below this video. So we're going to have links to the brown leather, to the white glitter, and also the red electric Easy Weed. And then we're also going to have links that go directly to purchase this actual football true type font and the baseball true type font. Now you're only seeing the numbers part of it here, but we have the entire alphabet as well in that actual true type font. So you'll get all the letters and the numbers to be able to create awesome designs like we did right here. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you do have any other questions, make sure to give us a call. Number is 941-755-1696. This is Matt with the rhinestoneworld.com and you guys have a great day.